All right, guys, YouTube people, whoever. So that's the turbo that came out of the Dodge. So basically, anyways, uh, <clears throat> I have to empty these two containers, these totes. Empty those and then put basically all this crap, all these little parts, all this in there. Um, so yeah, so I didn't help my brother with the 7.3. He actually took off before I got back from a test drive with my buddy's little car. My buddy's car, he tech solenoid whatever was bad it wasn't bad it just his car was two and a half quarts low on oil but anyways <clears throat> um yeah so we went and test drove it and drove it and drove it and drove it and it was fine because basically what he was doing was when he'd get into VTEC basically 4,000 rpms it's an 01 Honda Civic sedan it'd get to 4,000 rpms and then it would just you know it kept falling down, falling down, because, and it felt like it was jerking, I guess. I don't know. I didn't test drive it before. I just looked at it, scanned it, and then uh, checked the engine oil. So actually, first thing I did was check the engine oil, and saw that it didn't even have any oil registering on the dipstick. So I told him I was like, "Dude, you're low on oil." So we added the quart, checked it, added another quart, checked it, and that's when it was finally showing on the dipstick. And then uh, added a half a quart, and his oil was full. And then uh, checked the codes. It was the P1562. I don't remember. Anyway, it was a VTEC solenoid. <clears throat> so I tested it with my brother's scanner. He can actually test it, bring it to 3,000 RPMs. The scanner will turn it on, activate it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So. Then uh, cleared the codes, went and drove it. The car was fine. And then, uh, yeah, on the way back, I saw my brother leaving in the 7.3 Ford 7.3 Hog oh, Junk to go do a rear main seal. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so I didn't get to go with him to do that because he just left. And then he called me and said, make sure Dominic drives the Expedi Explorer safe because there's no registration or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So when I got home, his kid wasn't here. <laughs> so his kid wasn't here and whatever. So I was like, all right. So he just left me here by myself. So ended up doing the ball joint and outer tie rod in on the work truck. Got that done. Then cleaned up his garage for him. Cleaned up tools and stuff. And uh, yeah, oh, and I took the computer, the ECM off <coughs> of the Dodge. I can show you actually what the problem it is. So, <clears throat> anyways. So. This is what we got here. It's like, as you can see, it's supposed to have little pins here, like this. I think, yeah. So it has these little three pins on either side. Well, these pins are sheared off. So, there's the other computer. So, anyways. So, depending on how much it's going to cost to flash the computer, um, I guess we'll determine how much, whatever. There's, I can get a computer, a brand new computer for 800 bucks flashed to the truck. Man. Anyway, so, the wire harness should be here Wednesday. Hopefully my brother will get a hold of some guy to do the flashing. <clears throat> if not... I'm just going to put the harness on, put the computer on, 
Call AAA, tell them to come pick it up and bring it to Dodge. And then I'll just pay whatever to flash it because, I don't know. I mean, I don't need the truck, but, I mean, it's, I'm in a t-shirt. It's probably, I don't know, 65, 66 degrees right now. And not a cloud in the sky. This is, I'm getting to it, guys. Not a cloud anywhere. There's some clouds out there. Anyways, this is why I hate Colorado. It's gonna be probably like 75, 80 degrees today. Tomorrow, it's supposed to snow. We're supposed to get like six inches of snow tomorrow. It's like, how stupid. I can't. I mean, you can't control the weather, but you know, you can control where you live, I guess. That's why I moved back to California. <clears throat> and that's why I'll probably stay in California because this is just stupid. Yeah, snow is nice, weather change is cool, but not when it's like this. You know, if I was in a hoodie and a sweatshirt and it was overcast for three or four days and then all of a sudden it started to snow, all right, no big deal. Which that does happen out here, but just all 70, 80 degrees today and then tomorrow it's going to snow. Which it probably will snow. So, but anyways, whatever. So, basically, all I'm doing today is I gotta go through this, <clears throat> drain all this water in this bucket, put all, I'll probably put all my electronic devices in there, parts in there, like um, alternator, injection pump, um, probably clean up the injectors, maybe. Um, the injection rail, and then whatever else I can fit in here. So like these hoses and tubes, whatever, I'll, they don't need to be in there because they're pretty much trash anyways. I might just throw them in the trash. Um, you know, throw this in there. Intake tube. This one I'll probably just throw it away because it's cut right here. So, anyways, then the fan. This is why I want to get a uh, shipping container so I can put all this stuff in there. And then uh, I'm going to drain these totes, those little totes. Um, I'm going to basically pour them on all these yucca plants. Those are the neighbors, but anyways, my brother's got a bunch of yucca plants back there. I'm going to dump that out there because it probably has I don't know whatever chemicals from the plastic bottles that were in there and stuff so and then I'm gonna put all this crap in here all this crud in there I'll put the main caps this stuff all these rocker arms and injector hold downs pistons I could probably just use the big black tote to fit all that junk in there so it's probably the one I'll empty because it's stronger but oh. anyways <laughs> I dropped my phone but all right guys uh that's gonna be it for today um I do have to clean I gotta clean this Corvair off because I had the the girdle for the engine sitting right here and it rained and it all splashed all this crap all over it so I'm gonna wash all that off right now get all that done because this lady's actually so this is my brother's project he has to get this done he has to get this done it's got this transmission right here for the Lexus and then after that's done, he has to do the floor there. He has to pull the engine out and stuff, but anyways. And then he has like 5,000 other projects. Three cars pulled up yesterday. <clears throat> so I gotta clean that Corvair because I think the lady's gonna clean, come. But he got uh, the Subaru, the Volkswagen. Oh yeah, and then this truck yesterday. That's what he got yesterday, so. Not, you know, just to work on customer cars, but 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for the end of this video. Ten minutes. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, I can't give you guys more video footage, but I have to come out here early in the morning. It's about 8, 8.15 to do videos. Um, it's the only way people can't bug me. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.